In 1858, on the corner of the Queen City's Broadway and Emsley Streets, a collective of German immigrants gave of their minds and their bodies to construct a church worthy of their strong Catholic faith. These men and women were not members of a historical society. They had never created a museum or constructed a memorial. Rather, they were ordinary citizens, inspired to build an extraordinary tribute to their heritage and to their faith, which would perpetually impact their Western New York homeland. They named their handcrafted monument, St. Anne's. Today, St. Anne's is in danger of being demolished in a manner that, according to her pastor, Father Roy Herberger, has been stunning to all involved. It was a very sad day, a very difficult day. I had to read a letter from the bishop to the congregation that was present for that Sunday Mass. And I had to tell them, in a manner of speaking, oh, by the way, this is the last time you can come in the, the church building. According to the officials from Buffalo's Catholic Diocese, who are responsible for the church, their primary concern about St. Anne's is whether it is structurally sound and safe for those who would worship there. Chairman of the Buffalo Preservation Board, Paul McDonald, answers those questions by referring to historically significant structures around the world. It's not going to fall down. It's been up for 130 years. We've seen a number of parts in the report that say, well, it's not, it is not structurally built like a build, building would be built today. Well, neither was the Parthenon, neither was the Pantheon. This building does not need to be demolished. This rises to the level of some of the finest churches in, in Europe. 93-year-old John Wrynn is a lifetime member of St. Anne's Parish. Well, this is, uh, what the hell do they call it, an icon? It's a beautiful church and it should be preserved. There's no need to tear it down. John believes that St. Anne's Church has as much value to the city of Buffalo as the highly prized Frank Lloyd Wright homes created for the Darwin Martin family. How many millions did they pour into that, plus the one over there on the lake shore? Nationally renowned neighborhood revitalization expert Donovan Repkima tells us that buildings give us a sense of history, a sense of belonging, a sense of identity, a sense of stability, a sense of place, a sense of our values. When we raise buildings that provide such senses, it is apparent to all that those values are not worth saving. Clearly, this is a sentiment shared by many in the Buffalo, Niagara region who are working diligently to save all that was, is, and can continue to be St. Anne's. It is parishioner Catherine Freeland who most eloquently explains why St. Anne matters to this city and to her people. I just know it breaks my heart to walk in here and see the dust. This is a house of prayer. God lives here. And to see it right away, or just not be used, because why? I don't know. St. Anne is like a beacon. It draws people. It draws people from all around the city when we were opened here. And I believe that St. Anne hears our prayer and I believe everything's gonna be okay. I just know it.